How you doing, YouTube? Do you know how satisfying it is to make your own materials when you're an artist? It just makes you feel like more of an artist. So, today, I'm going to show you how to make a glass painter's palette. We're going to be making our palette out of glass. And I don't know about plexiglass. I don't know if that will work for you. But I'm just going to stick with glass. And, oddly enough, I found this... I just found it. I found it on top of a trash can. I don't know why it was there. But you can go to a glass shop or, I don't, wherever, Google search it, you'll find it. And if you need to cut glass, that's not too hard, just buy a glass cutter. Um, and we're going to glue it onto a piece of wood that is the same dimensions as the glass. And first we're going to paint the wood a different color. What we're doing right now is we're creating a background for our palette. And I'm going to mix a medium gray, and I'm going to thin it out with some acrylic polymer to make the paint nice and flat. The goal of the background is to make it easier for our eyes to see colors. There you go, a very matte gray, and I'm going to let this dry before I glue it onto the glass. So, we're using wood on glass because I'm kind of afraid of the glass. I feel like it's going to break. I see some people using just glass palettes or gl glass palettes on like cardboard or something and that scares me. That scares me so much because I like to be rough with my palette. So what I'm doing is I'm going to glue the glass onto the wood and I'm going to use some liquid nails. Um, it's clear silicone adhesive and it's waterproof. It's really cool. The goal here for the palette was to make it as strong as possible. I wanted to be able to throw this thing, so I used almost the whole entire tube of liquid nails. And then I tried to smooth it out and make it as neat as possible. Alright, so it's completely covered with glue and I'm going to gently Put my glass on top of my wood. Alright. That looks weird. I guess I'm going to try to make sure the whole thing is covered. Alright, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just put it underneath my bed. And hopefully that'll help. There's other stuff under here, though. There we go. Alright, I'll leave that there for a couple of hours. Alright, so here it is. It's all dry. And um, the problem is that I have all these weird, like, globs. And I'll admit that that kind of bothers me. I um, haven't put paint on it yet. But I think it'll be fine. Um, in the future, what I would probably do is I would probably put globs of glue just in the corners or maybe around the edges. I think that would look a lot nicer and uh, be less confusing. Another thing I want to do is, like I did on this side, I want to put some masking tape along the sides just so they're not sharp. Um, and this is really smooth, but uh, just in case and um, reduce maybe even any chipping. It'll be a little bit more messy, but it's just tape. I can take it off. Um, let me put some paint on it really quick because I'm about to paint anyway. So here's my palette, and I really like it. I've been using it for a couple of months now. However, there's two things that bother me about it. The glass gives it a green tint, and it turned out a lot cooler than I thought it would. And the other thing is, when I pour my linseed oil, all the globs confuse me and I can't really see my linseed oil among all the other globs. Besides that though, this is very sturdy. I can, I can beat this thing, I can chip at it with a razor, um, and I really like that. That's how, why I made it, that's how I made it. Uh, however, I could make this thing a lot better. 
Um, and I'm going to. I found some glass and I'm going to post another video and when that comes out I'm going to put the annotation right here probably. That's a blank part of the screen. And um, yes, if you learned something and if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and thank you for watching. You're awesome YouTube and I'll see you later.